Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by a New York native who's deep in the heart of Texas now. Representing Texas in season 20 of NBC's The Voice, we welcome Gene Garcia. Hello, guys. I'm excited for you to have me here today. Gene, let's go beyond the mic. What made you audition? Um, what made me audition was many years of thinking about it and not actually doing it. Um, it was just something always in the back of my head. And when I had the opportunity, I just took it. Um, people around me were influenced me to go and take that leap, and I just did it, you know? Now, you've gone through the pain of a battle loss. You were part of Team Kelly. How do you bounce back now that you were stolen by John Legend? I mean, I look at this as a blessing, as a second chance to redeem my name. I mean, I want to I wanna go into this next next stage and just give it my all. I want to show John Legend that he didn't make a mistake by using his one steal on me. And yeah, I'm just going to give it my all. You've been traveling with your dad, singing around the U.S., Colombia, and Mexico. How has that experience prepared you for The Voice? Definitely, it's taken the nerves off a little bit. Um, I don't get as as nervous on stage as I usually do. I mean, I still got very nervous um, behind these four coaches. It's just nerve-wracking to perform for such artists that are successful like them. And yeah, I just, I've, I've been prepared by going out in the road, but it's nothing compared to being behind. Time for the Rocky Nate. Eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There's no pressure. Of course. What's your theme song? My theme song would be um, iCarly. The theme song for iCarly. Everyone's afraid of something. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of being forgotten. How about your favorite road trip snack? Pretzels. Does your mom have a nickname for you? Yankee. Favorite time suck? Playing guitar all day. <laughs> what was your first guitar? Um, My first guitar, I used to play on my dad's guitar when I was like six or seven. I never really got my first one, but I had one and it's, it's an all black ovation. I still have it to this day and I got it when I was like 10 years old and I named it Shakira. Really? Yeah, I just just thought of a name, and I just gave it to her. Now her name's Shakira. If there's something that you have to buy, it's an impulse buy at the grocery store, what do you buy all the time? Sour Patch. Who is your first crush? Camila Cabello. You're in the rare case every year of having two celebrity coaches. What do you take from what you've learned from Kelly and from John to help you be better? I mean, it's a blessing to even be coached by one. So the fact that I have two people giving me advice about how I can better my craft, it's amazing. I just take everything into consideration. Whatever the advice they have to give, at the end of the day, I realize that they're very successful artists and it would be dumb not to take their advice and implement it in my performance. So yeah, I'm just very grateful to have two coaches over me and yeah, I'm I'm blessed. What do you do to relax? Hmm, what I do to relax, I watch that 70s show. How did you find out... You were selected by The Voice. Honestly, it was, I uploaded some videos to the website and I just waited. I waited a bunch of time. I thought that they were never going to call me back. And then one day I received a call and they said, are you sitting down? And I was like, yeah, I'm sitting down. Why? And then they were like, you're going to California. You're going to audition for The Voice. And I was like, I literally didn't know what to think because I, I thought that I didn't even make it. And then next thing I know, I'm. I'm part of the group that's going to go before the coaches. And it was just, it was just something that came out of nowhere. What did your dad think? My dad, honestly, he was as surprised as I was. I mean, I've been working at this my whole life to get an opportunity like this. And it's finally paying off at such a young age, which is crazy because there's many people that do this their entire life and still don't get the recognition that they deserve. So it's me and him both know that this is a blessing and it can't be taken advantage. Like I have to do everything everything to be successful in this and he's very proud of me talk about all the friends you've made from the show and who would you like to work with in the future um i definitely love to collaborate with cam anthony he's amazing um riley modig i just battled her but i would also like to record that song together because it was an amazing song and yeah i enjoyed recording it the entire time um yeah those two those are my two favorites what's the one thing you want to take from this experience I want to keep in touch with all the amazing contestants that I've met throughout the season. I mean, there's a lot of different flavors. 
I mean, every single genre, I met someone. I met some country guys that were amazing. I met some people that sang R&B. And yeah, I just want to stay connected. I want to collaborate with with everyone. I want to make those relationships solid. Now, how active is that group chat you're all in? Oh, it's it's going off every day, daily. I mean, we've become best friends at this point. I mean, I'm very grateful for everyone. Yeah, it's crazy. We send each other memes. We send each other songs. We do everything. What do you want to tell your fans? Um, if there's one thing I want to tell them is that they are the reason why I'm here today and I will never forget about them. And yeah, they're the ones that keep me pushing forward. He's afraid of being forgotten. Named his guitar Shakira and grabs those Sour Patch Kids at the grocery store. We thank Gene Garcia for taking the time to talk with us today. All right, thank you guys for having me. It's been an honor. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic shortcut. <laughs>